Sello Hutton is the CEO of the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory. Good afternoon to you, Sello. Good afternoon. We are virtually hours away from uh, Nelson Mandela International Day. What can we expect? Well, you can expect a, a huge movement of, uh, for good. Um, but it's people who understand that Mandela Day is not only about do good, uh, that uh, they will be going out to do sustainable projects in order to restore uh, dignity where it's been lost because of poverty, uh, levels of inequality that we have. So some of the projects that you're going to have include people being given houses because that's one of our focal areas, um, people being given food uh, because we believe that uh, you need to, to deal with poverty and uh, uh, give, uh, provide uh, nourishment where it's needed. And then uh, the third element is literacy. And we, we believe that uh, once people are empowered enough through education, you are bound to have a, a more responsive and responsible citizenry uh, that can then help sustain South Africa for what it should be. Um, and in fact, not just in South Africa, but around the world. And we are told of projects uh, from around the world, where cities around the world are doing something. Uh, whether it be in New York, in Portugal, you go to Portugal, there will be something happening. Um, you addressed the mayors and the local government officials today. What was your message to them? The key message was Ubuntu is not a far-fetched uh, concept. It's something that's livable, that's possible. Madiba uh, led the way in terms of showing us uh, that you can live it by not trying too hard. Extending a hand of friendship. Uh, I, told, I, I told them how um, at the heart of Madiba, uh, Madiba's personality is Ken, that he would walk in and before he goes to the celebrity, he starts off with a cleaner to ask the cleaner, how are you doing? Um, how, how are your kids at home? Uh, are they go attending school? And that's something that we're lacking, where we don't give attention to things that are, are important, the people. And obviously the idea is to turn every day a Mandela Day. It's not only about Thursday, the 18th of July. It's about the days and the years beyond that. Well, the message, again, uh, was, was also to ensure that they understand the theme of Mandela Day, which is uh, take action, inspire change in your city, um, make every day a Mandela, uh, a Mandela Day. And I, I think we're hoping that you will minimally do 67 minutes. The Madiba gave 67 years. We're saying we can't give it back all of it um, at the goal, but we can try to give it 67 minutes at, at, at a time. And there are projects that will ensure that it grows every day, um, that you can give uh, your bet uh, by giving six, 67 minutes on a weekly basis, for example. Uh, and, and over time, people then get used to giving. There's no doubt that Mandela Day 2013 is going to be the biggest ever. We know that Madiba remains in a Pretoria hospital. Your, your message to the South African nation and to the world at large? I think uh, it's, it's a message back to, to Madiba, in fact. Um, it's to say to him, Dada, um, happy birthday. Um, but as you are about to enjoy your 95th birthday, we are saying, as, as your, your children, we are saying, as the young generation, that uh, you can rest assured that your legacy is in good hands, that we will be going out there in numbers, not only singing you happy birthday, but going back to our homes to build better homes and building better communities for, for people who live in so. Good luck for Thursday, Selo. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Selo Hutton, the CEO of the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory. That's thank you, Selo. Thank you. That's it. All right. Thank you. <laughs>